wish to make the best carrot cake from scratch it is so much easier than you think this is your hearty grandma style old fashioned carrot cake recipe with pineapple that is juicy and moist and needs just one bowl and a whisk let us start by preparing the cake pan which is a crucial step simply oil or butter the cake pan on all the sides line the base with parchment paper and add about 2 tablespoon of flour rotate the pan to coat it with flour from all sides let's just set this aside for a while to make the cake batter we will start by sieving the dry ingredients which includes flour that is maida salt spices like cinnamon and nutmeg and of course the leavening agents baking powder and baking soda acha okay you can of course directly sieve the dry ingredients on top of your wet ingredients which is totally fine i'm just sharing the procedure separately for those of you who are new to baking and so that you guys understand it step by step coming to wet ingredients so in a large bowl combine together the oil and brown sugar as you all can clearly see it would be thick and lumpy but that is okay once we start adding our eggs one at a time the consistency will change so yes next we will add in one egg at a time and whisk it well with each addition you will note that the consistency becomes runnier and easier to manage Next in goes the canned pineapples along with its juices and coconut whisk well Finally add the freshly grated carrots and whisk again I know that's a lot of additions and lost of whisking but trust me it will all come together That was all of your liquid ingredients. Oh yes, I also added the vanilla extract at this stage which is not recorded unfortunately, but do consider adding it at this stage. As for the consistency of the batter, as you all can see, it will be super liquidy at this stage, but that is okay because ultimately the pineapple juices and carrots are what makes this carrot cake moist and juicy. Now add the dry ingredients in two stages, reserving about 2 tablespoon of the flour mixture. Gently fold it in the batter. As you start folding in your dry ingredients you will observe that the uh, consistency of the batter gets thickened a bit not way too much but still there will be a difference Now to this reserved 2 tablespoon of flour mixture add the chopped pecans and mix well and fold it into the batter Coating the pecans with the flour would prevent them from sinking to the bottom of the cake while baking and you will have an even dispersion all throughout the cake. As mentioned earlier, the batter at this stage would be a little thicker than before adding the dry ingredients, but not super thick like your regular chocolate cake or vanilla cake batter. Once your batter is ready, pour this into the prepared pan. I am using an 8 by 8 inch square tin to make a sheet cake today, but this would also work for a 9 by 13 inch cake. Or you can also turn it into a layered cake by baking it in three 6 inch cake tins or two 8 inch cake tins. Bake it in a preheated oven of 180 degrees Celsius for around 40 to 45 minutes or until a skewer inserted in the center comes out clean. Now take care that you do not over bake the cake. Let it sit in the pan itself for another 3 minutes and then invert it onto a wire rack and allow it to cool completely before proceeding with frosting. Talking about frosting, this classic carrot cake recipe goes well with of course cream cheese frosting. Um you can refer to my video on stiff cream cheese frosting 101 for an in-depth tutorial. Okay, so as of now let us start by beating the cream cheese until creamy then add the soft butter and beat well. Add about 1/2 cup of sieved icing sugar 
also known as confectioner's sugar or powdered sugar at a time and beat until creamy and fluffy finally adjust the consistency of the frosting by adding a teaspoon of lemon juice at a time to form a smooth spreadable consistency once the cake is cooled completely simply add all of the frosting reserving about 1/4 cup for decoration and then spread it using an offset spatula on all the sides To make it even I preferred cutting the corners of the cake which is of course optional. Now is the time to divide the left out 1/4 cup of frosting into two and color one orange and the other green. Using a small round nozzle um say maybe Wilton 6 Just create a carrot with the top being fuller than the bottom. Then using a petal nozzle create leaves on top with the green colored frosting. You do not have to follow the instructions for decorating the cake as I have shared here because this is definitely based on your creativity. You can use the same creamy frosting to decorate this flavorful carrot cake in creative ways. Then slice the cake as per choice and enjoy this moist carrot cake recipe with delectable cream cheese frosting. To prevent the frosting from sticking to your knife and messing up your cake when slicing, dip the knife in warm water and wipe it on a kitchen towel before cutting each slice. Check out our blog post on spicesandflavors.com for more details about storing the cake, tips, more additional baking tips and lots more. The description box will have the link for the same so yes, do consider checking that. And yeah, one more tip that I would like to give here that you can also toast the nuts and coconut in the recipe for an added flavor. Before you leave, do consider watching our video on cream cheese frosting 101 by clicking here for additional details. I'll see you soon in my next one. Until then, this is Sushma signing off. Take care. Bye bye.